Ever wish you can create stunning product visuals like these without hiring a model or booking a studio? Today, I'm very excited to show you our new feature, Train Custom AI, that allows to transform just a few product shots into great lifestyle visuals. Let me show you how. Let's train our first model together. So first of all, go to Create Studio and then go to Train Custom AI on the left. First, you can see the library of pre-trained models that are available in your account. And also there will be models that you will be, uh, your history of your models that you will train later. They all will be available here. To train the new model, you need to go to Trail Model section. And this is the most important part and we need to get it right. Think about the product that you would be using. I would be using this Black Rain Spec. So on the model name, type down what kind of product it is. I would be using it like Rain's is a brand. If you have a specific model and specific name for your product, great, use this. Then describe the subject. So in my case, this is the black backpack. Think about how would you subjectively describe this product. Maybe it's a red silk dress and this would be a description of the subject. Then you need to pick the subject type. I would be picking accessories because it's a backpack. We need this to help you with prompting later. Uh, we trained a small model that will help you to get really, really good results and will help you to get good prompts. But you need to help us with picking the subject type. Then the most important part, uploading images. You need to upload a diverse set of product images so the, the model can learn from that. We recommend at least three, five images per product, the more the merrier and they need to be at different angles, they need to be at different contexts. So maybe it will be a human wearing uh, a backpack. Maybe it will be a backpack material really close up. The more diversity you can get to the model, the results would be much better. Also, all products should be well lit, really good quality, maybe something on the white background, something that we can really, really see what kind of product it is. So in my example here, I uploaded several visuals per product to show really the model how the backpack looks so it can learn all these details and can basically take it into account. Then we click on train model. Usually it takes a few minutes to train the model, so let's wait here. It's been a few minutes and the model is trained. Let's try to generate some visuals. Go to your model here or you can also see a sneak peek of your training set just in case you forgot. The most important part is the prompting session. So we build a specific prompting engine that analyzes your product and can give you up to 10 different prompts that you can pick and use uh, right away. And this is something that I would recommend uh, as a great easy step to work with, uh, with prompts. There's also a few settings that you need to understand uh, before you start click and click on generate. Aspect ratio. By default, we generate in square, but you can uh, also do four by three, 16 by nine, nine by 16 depends on your needs. Advanced settings here. They allow us to give a little bit more insights to the model. They are balanced out to some optimal settings. If you want the model to follow your product more closely, try to, uh, to increase constant strengths on high. And there's also a parameter like speed and quality. Basically, it just balances the generation and level of details and prompt accuracy. This one, I would recommend to keep it unbalanced because it kind of gives a little bit of flexibility to the model, to the prompt. If you want the model to follow the prompt more strictly, choose strict. You can also select how many images you want to generate. By default, we're doing two, which is a great optimal way, but you can bump it up up to four. So let's keep it at two. I like to generate it four by three. Click generate and we will get two visuals per your prompt. Awesome. So we're seeing the first results from our generations. You can see the backpack here. The general vibe is corporate workspace. As you can see, the products followed really, really precisely because we gave it enough data. I gave it more than 10 visuals. And then we have the office space. Let's try something different. Let's try cycling journey. I will click generate one more time and let's see what we get. Awesome. The generation is done. Uh, we can see backpacks on MM that is cycling because this backpack is great for sports. So I wanted to uh, use it here. Please know that we're also getting results that backpacks in different colors, not just in black, but that's because I showed different colors to the model. So it learned that the model and backpacks are available in different colors. If you would like to have the products in single color, use single color and the model will learn that. Happy generating. Hope that you would like it. Please uh, give us feedback. Back. If you have any questions, leave them in comments and we will address them. Thanks.